Well, conditions on the hill are perfect today for our 104 motor challenge. So come and join us in the rocks on our extreme uphill challenge, where today we'll be looking at the Spectral On from Canyon and the Shimano E8000. The 104 Power Stage is an extremely technical climb that really explores the limits of just what is possible on an e-bike. Slick limestone outcrops and steep root sections make it the ultimate test for rider and bike. Oh, he's f***ed it. He's f***ed it. He's totally f***ed it. Against such a challenging backdrop, we set out to discover how each of the key e-bike motors can cope with such a climb, and in doing so explore their character, functions, and of course performance. And just in case you might be wondering about the relevance of the number 104, well, one minute and four seconds is the fastest time recorded so far by a rider on an e-bike on this particular hill, and the time we're trying to beat by way of using a variety of all the main motor brands. Weighing in at 2.89 kilos from Japan, the Shimano E8000 was launched in 2016, and since then the hardware of this motor has remained largely unchanged. However, there have been many software updates, and there are now more batteries, remotes, and displays available on this very popular motor. The E8000 offers a stealth looking cockpit with minimalist displays and controls. It also has an open system, which means you can customize the output settings via the eTube app. Lead us to say we'll have it in maximum power for today's challenge. With an elevation gain of 72 meters vertical over 160 meters, the gradient on this hill is a formidable sight when sat at the start. Just having a quick look at the ground conditions today, obviously there's a few uh, autumn leaves falling, but the roots which uh, we encounter on the uphill are uh, in quite good dry condition, so plenty of grip. And I'm gonna move up now to some rocks, show you some rocks up here. Now the gradient on this hill is pretty extreme. However, the good news, well, if there is any good news that is on a hill like this, is that there's no loose rocks in it. The rock is all embedded. There's no movement whatsoever. However, it is limestone and limestone with moisture on it can be really, really difficult. So luckily, as I said today, the conditions are dry. So plenty of grip. All you're gonna worry about is your heart rate and your line choice. So what exactly has the Shimano E8000 got in the tanks? Well, there are three assistance modes, eco, trail, and boost modes. Although on paper with a 300% support compared to some with 400%, it is one of the least powerful motors on the hill. Time then to go to our electronics expert, Andre, to talk us through the numbers. Right, I hear you about to ride the E8000. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, cool, right. Okay, I've been looking at the graphs um, and the graphs that Shimano has applied don't really tell you what you really want to know. Because in cycling, as you know, power is everything. You have power meters, it's how much power you can divert for how long a period of time. The graphs they've given you are basically a multiplication factor of torque input versus torque output. Now, you don't know what power that's going to be developed, what cadence is going to be developed. So if you look at um, some of the other curves that we've Found, you know, I think you've, 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 found else, you've found elsewhere, Steve. Um, you can see that the, probably the best um, power is developed between 60 and 90 RPM on your cadence, okay? So if you're trying to aim between 60 and 90 RPM, that's the best, but what you will find, get over 90 and it'll drop off pretty, pretty fast. And if you compare it to other motors, not quite as much power as other motors. Ain't you a beauty? Canyon Spectral on with the Shimano E8000 motor, 29 inch wheel of front, 27.5 on the rear, 150 mil travel front and rear. And I think the all important uh, component 
uh, in this uh, pill challenge is the 2.8 Maxxis DHR2 tire, which is at about 28 PSI to get the grip on that limestone rock. It's important to keep the cadence high on the E8000, as in lower cadences, you can struggle on the steeper stuff. Having said that, despite the limited maximum power, boost mode can be a handful and you still need to anticipate the terrain. At just under 23 kilos, the Canyon Spectral is a light bike, so will not be held back in that department. And with a reach of 485 millimeters, there will be plenty of room to move around the bike to get traction front and rear. The shorter chain stays on the Spectral, which make the bike so good at cornering, also means you need to be mindful of your body position when climbing. One thing I find really interesting on hill climbing is gearing now. On the E8000, we've got 70 Newton meters of torque, so I started off in third gear, but when you get up into the steeper sections, you need to go into an easier gear. And remember, the bikes with higher torque are gonna be able to run a higher gear and also get you more speed. Okay, so uh, feeling slightly nervous. This is the first of uh, at least six runs to try and get um, a good idea of the average time of this hill. Uh, it's a bit of a heart rate to be in the red, sort of after a few, well, probably after a few, <laughs> after about 10 meters. So obviously we're gonna be in boost mode on the Shimano 8000. And uh, cut me in, Josh. really important to pace yourself on these steep climbs because on this particular challenge the hard bit is located right at the very end so you can't go burying yourself in the first few meters Here's the crux. You're gonna be pretty composed in this bit. So 114.6, not the fastest, uh, but nevertheless, I think an important uh, thing to think about with the lower torque e-mountain bikes is the gearing. Because as I mentioned earlier, when you've got a bike with 70 Newton meters of torque compared to say 90, you've got to go into easier gears on the hill. So, I mean, common sense will tell you that the speeds will be uh, slightly slower. And also I want to point out as well is that not everybody is in a rush up a hill and it doesn't take away the fun of riding an e-mountain bike. But I think the big news with E8000 is the fact that Shimano uh, have mentioned that this motor will be being replaced by the EP8 motor. So I think on the next 104 challenge, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see the comparison of the new EP8.